Let me ask you because you, you mentioned going away and like it was one of the one of the times going away. Yeah. But after our interview, the second one, because the first time you you came through, you were there with Bizlo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But then the time that. when you came by yourself. Yeah. Right. After that, you I remember you had a music video preview. This shit looked wavy. I was like, yo, the crook's about to come back with some it was, major I, fire. I think it was I Might Just. It was the white room one. Yeah. Yeah. And then you were gone. Yeah, because that day I shot that video, I got arrested. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? I shot that video. At the video shoot? No, like after. Like, we, it was a big video <coughs> shoot. There was a lot of, like, people snapping and shit there. So a lot of people could see the clips mm -hmm. from the video I shoot. I remember seeing it online. Boom. And then after that, I left there. I went to another place. You know what I'm saying? And that place got raided. And wow. then there was like a bunch of firearms there and shit, like allegedly. And you know, whatever they, there was like a bunch of us there. You know, I got charged with five firearms. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Like, I got charged with a bunch of shit. I, I sat in jail for like 13, 14 months. And then I ended up pleading on some smaller shit. And then they dropped the, the bids and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. they, couldn't, they couldn't prove that the guns were mine, right? So yeah. they dropped that shit, my fault. No, no, they no, dropped no. that shit and then boom, I touched road. And I didn't, I, it's funny cause I didn't see the video I, I was in for like 10 months, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, finally the video got sent through the channels and whatever. And I'm like, yo, to my pops, I'm like, yo, send the video to my lawyer, you know? So when okay. she comes to see me, she could show me the video, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And after you've been in like 10, 11 months, like your brain, you're like you're in jail mode. Like, you know, you're not really thinking about bro thinking, too yeah. tough. Like you're thinking about more jail things, like, you know, canteen and like phone calls and like, you know, just right. making you're it true. Day to day. Yeah, you're making it true your day to day, you know what I'm saying? So when she came and showed me the video, it was crazy because it's like reminds you that like yo, you're just you got potential you're, in the you're, shit. You know, you're 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 a guy, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Don't, 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 don't make these orange clothes in these jail walls make you forget like who you are. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you're a guy out there, like you know what I'm saying? So boom, I seen that now, maybe like what, four, three, four months later, I end up touching road and then I dropped it. Then you, you dropped know? that yeah, video. Yeah, so I yeah. I touched road, I put the trailer up, and then I dropped it. Boom, and it was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? That track was going crazy, and that was the first one back. You know, and then I just started boom, 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 dropping them from there. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. During that time, did you have to like drop people out of your life? And if you did, like, is it hard being from the streets and being like, you know what I'm saying? Having that come up and be like, yo, I have to let you go because like this is the only way I'm going to be able to reach my potential. Oh, for sure. For sure, like, and that's part of one of the hardest, that's probably one of the hardest things like a street artist has to go through. Mm -hmm. Like knowing when to be able to cut ties with someone when it's just too toxic, the relationship. And sometimes it's not like, it's like, it's not anything that that person could fix. You know, some yeah. people like, they just don't have that awareness yet. Like they never been through what you've been through yet. Yeah. So the shit there, you're trying to show somebody, yo, you can't, you gotta look and you gotta be a, and they don't have that cause it's just not naturally instilled in them. So you gotta be like, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta love this person from a distance cause they're not living like I'm living. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So realistically, this person is not gonna be the safest person. Like they're not gonna know what's in my best interest cause they're not, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I can't trust this person with my, my well being, right? So like, that and on top of that, you gotta look out for the people who are just trying to use you as a benefit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To like boost themselves and people who are just trying to come around you now because they see that you're doing something. Because remember, like humans, like they respect like progression. And I, I, it's funny, I was having this conversation with somebody the other day, right? Because mm -hmm. they were like, "Yo, this guy, he he was born in a whole different like kind of upbringing where like they're not really flashy where they're from. They invest and this and that, right? And we're having a conversation, right? And he's like, "Yo, I have uh, I have two hundred thousand in cryptocurrency, okay. you know what I'm saying? But he's a plain guy, he's not really like, drippy, nothing like, you know? And he's like, yeah, but he's trying to get into like, the like the, the, the entertainment business where you gotta talk to people. And I'm like, yo, listen fam, you could have half a million dollars in cryptocurrency and I could have $150,000 worth of jewelry, mm. see? Him? And I'm gonna walk in a room and you're gonna walk in a room and the people are gonna be quicker to listen to me than they're gonna be listening to you because humans respect what they see. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. If if they know a nigga has done what they want to do or has accomplished something they want to accomplish, they're going to respect that person subconsciously. They're just going to be like, oh, what is this person saying? Thought you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. even you, you could be smarter than me. You could know more than me. You could have more money than me. But if I look more valuable than you, I sound more valuable than you, then they're going to listen to me yeah. first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So realistically, mm -hmm. that's what it comes to the <laughs> people around you too, right? You got to watch out for like the people who are not like, you know what I'm saying? Not mm -hmm. the real, like you know what I'm saying. They're, no, that's a game. They're what, trying to finesse you. And shit. What about, I'm sorry before before you ask the question because okay. I don't want to get into the interview yet. If you like this video or any other videos like this, there's more that you can choose from. Make sure you like, comment, and share these videos, and make sure you subscribe right now.